So our daughters um, were born, actually, soon after we moved into this house. A few weeks after we moved in, we started being in a lot of pain physically. And it turned out that that was um, because they had something called twin-to-twin transfusion syndrome, which means that their, um, their blood vessels crossed over in the placenta. So one of them didn't have enough blood, and one had too much blood. Um, so they had to be delivered at 27 weeks gestation. Um, and my daughter Anna did fairly well. She was in the NICU for a few months, but she had, you know, she was fairly stable for most of that time. My daughter Marin um, had a much harder time, especially in the beginning. She had, because her heart was, um, was damaged and stressed, she couldn't pump blood to all of her, her organs. So she went into renal failure. And actually, no one expected her to make it. They thought that she was not going to survive that first week. But eventually, she made it. Um, and she came home with a lot of support. The first winter, she had a doctor's appointment almost every day. She would have one. Um, and she just needed a lot of help to get past all of the early challenges. She had had an annual cap, and there had been no Medicaid to fall back on. You know, I don't know that she would have gotten the care that she needed to survive and to thrive. My bigger concern for them um, is long term and how hard it will be for them to be able to get stable health coverage with their pre existing conditions. Marin has a history of serious heart and lung and kidney disease in addition to the prematurity. So I, I think that she would be basically uninsurable. And it's hard to. It's hard to think about why, you know, I just can't see why we would make that decision to deprive children of that. So, yeah, sorry. <laughs> this is emotional for me. This is emotional. And it is. You know, it's real kids. It's, like, it's real kids and health care is personal. I um, asked for people to submit their health care stories to me. And there's a part of your letter that I wanted to people about and that is uh, I think you said I wish every senator could come and sit at my dining room table and look me in the eyes and tell me how um, how much my child is worth and I just wanted to be a senator who comes and sits at your dining room table Thank and you. says that Mari and all your children are priceless and all Wisconsin's children are priceless. Thank you. That means a lot to me. So, invite me. <laughs> Thank you. I, appreciate, I mean, I really appreciate and, it. And your story is part of that fight. Mm -hmm.